Hi everyone, I'm Tony Mori, and I'm visiting Judd Seal Winery in Napa Valley. Let's visit together. Judd's Hill is a small family-owned 14-acre hillside vineyard located on the Silverado Trail in the eastern hills of Napa Valley. After their success at Whitehall Lane Winery in the 1980s, Art and Bunny Finkelstein sold the winery, which was producing over 30,000 cases a year, to focus on their passion of creating small lots of premium handcrafted wines. Judd's Hill produces no more than 3,000 cases annually allowing them to enjoy a hands-on approach to every aspect of wine production. Since 1992, they have been making the finest in handcrafted and custom wines, allowing great growers and wine enthusiasts to have their own wine made for them. We have Judd Finkelstein, one of the second generation owners of Judd's Hill Winery with us today. Oh, well Judd's Hill is a family owned and operated winery, very small. We make less than 3,000 cases of Judd's Hill wine a year. Um, I'm a second generation winemaker. My father started this business uh, well over 30 years ago. And um, I'm very excited to be able to continue it in the very hands-on um, style that he started. We continue to do to this day. And I'm excited today because we are in the pirate ship at Judd's Hill, it's a set we created for um, a video series that we do with our wine pirate. And uh, you can look for that soon at the Judd's Hill website. Um, but as far as our wines go, we make a few different varieties. Uh, we make Cabernet Sauvignon, and we make a rosé of Cabernet Sauvignon, amongst some others. We also make some Pinot Noir, uh, Petite Syrah, a little Sauvignon Blanc, as well as wines for other people. We do quite a bit of custom winemaking for folks. Either people can bring us their grapes and we make wine for them, or anybody. You know, one of your viewers could call me and say, Judd, I want to make a barrel of wine. I'll go find the grapes for them, depending on their uh, stylistic needs. And then I'll make the wine. They can choose the type of barrel, design the label, and we ship it off to them. And it's their very own wine. What do I consider most important in making wine? That's a great question. That's a hard question. You know, wine is this great blending of art and science coming together. So of course you have to know your microbiology because you have to have your yeasts correct and all the other little bugs that live in the wine and make wine so wonderful, you have to understand that. But on the other hand, you have to be very artistic. You have to be able to uh, blend flavors, blend wines, choose the proper barrel that's gonna make the wine elegant. You have to be able to taste the flavors in the grape. So it's very hard for me to say what's the most important. I, I think my talents, and I'll go with my talents, lie more on the artistic side. And then we have um, another fellow here who's very good at the laboratory stuff and the science. So as long as he can take care of that, that lets me be free to um, kind of be the artist. This is our uh, rosé of Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a very light, uh, wine. It's not a very sweet wine though. It's actually a dry rosé. It showcases some of the nice fruit characteristics of Cabernet Sauvignon, but of course it doesn't have the, uh, the tannins, the extracted flavor. So for people who like um, a little bit drier style uh, rosé, this is a very nice one to have. It's very versatile. It goes with a wide variety of foods or just stands up on its own. You know, you could just sip this at a cocktail party and be very happy. Uh, the other wine we have is our Cabernet Sauvignon. So these are both Cabernet Sauvignons, but this one was fermented without the skins and made in a white wine style. And this is the classic Cabernet Sauvignon that we, of course, ferment with the skins because that's where you get the color and the great flavors and the tannin. Uh, it's a blend of different vineyard sources. So some of the fruit comes from a hillside in St. Helena, some from Up Valley in Oakville, some from the Stag's Leap District. So you have a very steep hillside, you have some rolling hill, you have some flat land, which all gives the the wine a nice depth of character. That all the grapes, you know, have different flavors that they impart to the wine, so uh, it creates a nice depth and complexity. Also, the wine is not going to be very oaky. For this wine, we use about, I'd say, 90% once used barrels. So barrels are kind of like tea bags. The more you use them, the less flavor you get out of them. And I prefer to have that wood flavor um, much more in the background, more of a nuance. I think that makes the wine a little bit more elegant 
It makes it more food friendly. You have the fruit as the showcase and those um, harsh wood tannins, which are nice to give it some depth and some backbone, but they're not gonna be fighting with a, with a meal. So uh, this is a really good food wine and I love to eat, so I make wines that I know are gonna go well with food. Hi, I'm Judd Finkelstein, and on behalf of the three generations of my family that are here at Judd's Hill Winery in Napa Valley, I invite you to come visit us, enjoy what we have to offer, and we'll look forward to seeing you really soon. Thanks. How did you like Judd's Hill? I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.